Okay, prove this. All right, this one here, uh, tan A minus B, that's equal to sine A minus B over cos A minus B. And the compound angle formula for sine on the top is sine A cos B minus sine B cos A. And then on the bottom is cos A cos B plus sine A sine B. And you notice that you need to get a one here. So what we can do is divide every term by cos A cos B. So sine A divided by cos A is tan A. Cos B divided by cos B is gone. Um, sine B divided by cos B is tan B. And then cos A divided by cos A is gone. Cos A cos B divided by cos A cos B is one. And then sine by, divided by cos and sine divided by cos both make tans here. And it matches up perfectly with what you need. And uh, tan 15. Okay, so tan 15 will equal tan 60 minus 45, which will be tan 60 minus tan 45 over 1 plus tan 60 tan 45. Uh, tan 45 is 1. And tan 60 is root 3. So that's root 3 minus 1 over 1 plus root 3. Or in other words, root 3 minus 1 over root 3 plus 1. The triangle ABC is shown in the diagram below. AC is equal to BC, so it's isosceles. ACB is 15, uh, sorry, it's 45. And AB is 10 root 2 minus root 2. Find the length of AC. Uh, can I use cosine rule? Well, it is isosceles, so I can know what these angles are. 180 minus 45 divided by 2. Right? AC, AC equals BC. It's a decimal. 67.5 degrees for both of those. So, um, do I want to use the sine rule? Is that possible? X over the sine of this angle. I think it's possible. We could say X over sine 67.5 equals 10 root 2 minus root 2 over sine 45. Kind of a weird question. Sine 67.5. Huh. Works out to be 10. Isn't that funny? When you type that in on the calculator. Okay, hopefully that question's okay for you as well.